part five. Um, and we're going to do the, the party wall here now. Okay, so uh, I'm over here and at the walls, and I have built the party wall here. And I'll give you a look at this. Okay, so. Um, so I've got plywood, insulation, uh, a moisture barrier, a couple of um, layers of plasterboard here as well, and the same on the other side. Um, I'm using a wood timber in here. It's just it's just kind of a, a zone more than anything else, and it's structural. That's why I've got it there. I've moved the core boundaries, you can see, as well up here, and the only thing I want wrapping here are these two. I don't want to wrap at the ends, so I'm going to say none for that uh, as well there. All right, so the... Uh, thickness of that is 297 which is not bad okay now uh, notice as well that I put in a coarse scale fill color of this red here and that will come in very handy at a later stage and we'll go okay now um, I'm going to do this wall center line here ground first and you can see I put in a construction line between my two grids here um, so I can find the midpoint and Let's drag this out here. Now, I'm just going to leave it short there for a moment because uh, the join uh, between the exterior and the interior is very important. So if we go back to my original um, uh, detail here, you can see that the cavity in between the two um, elements, that, two walls that make up the party wall, uh, comes through to meet this cavity here and that there is a fire stop uh, placed like so. Okay. Now that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, whether we can reproduce that here uh, um, is uh, another question. So let's try it. So uh, I'm going to drag this all the way up to here. Okay. Now it's stopping there, and I would like it to go all the way up there. All right. So um, I'm just going to try a couple of things here. I'm going to go back into my. Um, Escape, escape. Let's pick my wall here. And if I go back into the structure and I move the cores back down, right, I'm going to put them uh, either side of that structure where I had them originally. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see it. Okay. Now, um, it, you can see that it's, it's pushing through here. Right, that's just a graphic uh, more than anything else. Now, let's see if I can, um, I'm just gonna put it all the way back here, right? And then we'll go all the way through to there. No, uh, let's see if we can go all the way through to here. No, still not doing that. And uh, I don't particularly want to disallow uh, the join uh, here. I'm gonna leave it at that for the moment, all right? So uh, what can happen is, you know, we, we will be placing a fire stop in there in that cavity and we place a fire stop there. But we actually have it here because look, it's going around that way uh, there. So it might be ideal in terms of the finish that we're looking for. And again, you'll have to determine this yourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that uh, right through like so. All right, now, once I've got that in position, I can now take that, I can hit copy, and then at the end of uh, that grid line, and we will position these uh, across the way here, like so. Okay, that's good. And uh, now I'm gonna take these ones. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'm not taking that one, I'm just taking uh, this one, this one, this one, add to the selection. And again, I'm gonna copy these. And these will go on uh, making sure I've got the right grid line. Is that one? Yep. So they'll go on this side and this side. And then again on this side, like so. All right. And then we'll use our split tool. And we'll just split that wall. Use our trim tool. Trim this to this, this to this, this to this. And okay, now we've got our bays uh, sorted uh, there as well. Let's take a look at the 3D here. Right, so uh, that is now uh, our 
rendered block work here, our um, party wall, and our brick here. And if we go back to the um, PDF, so we've got that one, we've got the rendered brick. You can see there's timber here, so we're gonna have to make a new wall for, th for uh, these ones here again. And again, it'll just be a question of picking this one, duplicating it, and making the changes that are necessary from there. All right, um, in the next part, I'm going to tackle uh, the floors. Um, and uh, so watch out for part six.